Today I have two Anker C1000s. We have a Gen 1 and a Gen 2 and they're in bits. So I thought we can compare all their innards and sort of rebuild them at the same time and at the end we'll go through what the main differences between the Gen 1 and the Gen 2 are. So on your left here, this is the Gen 1 battery pack and it's distinguishable from the Gen 2 because of uh, the lack of uh, the extended or extra additional batteries you could add on to the Gen 1 so the Gen 2 you can't add on uh, external battery packs it's only the first gen that has that same battery chemistry but different voltage and configuration outputs so the Gen 1 battery pack is a 35.2 volt or 36 volt battery pack the Gen 2 battery pack being a 51.2 volt or 52 volt battery pack so same uh, lithium iron phosphate chemistry but different cell configurations like uh, for sure I'm sure it says on this one actually on the Gen 1 the Gen 1 is down as being 11 cells serial and then 2 parallel and I'm not sure what the configuration of that one is if it's 50 odd volts and how many cells did we say? 16? 16, 16 times and in the Gen 2 it must be 16 cells in series because it's 16 times 3 point whatever and you get 60 odd volts they are a slightly different way there's not a lot in it I don't have scales in here but the Gen 2 pack is maybe slightly lighter than the Gen 1 pack actually it's a fair chunk lighter right? <laughs> now I say it difficult to hold I don't, I'm trying not to hold on to any wires but yeah that pack is slightly lighter than this pack I'll, there's, I've got numbers at the end for the actual weight reductions but going over them I mean they're, they're all they're nicely made they've all got conformal coating one thing I did notice the Gen 1 has three 60 amp fuses on it and the Gen 2 has three 50 amp fuses on them so 10 more possible amps out of the Gen 1 battery compared to the Gen 2 but other than that they're both ni nicely made by the looks of it there's nothing blazingly different between them the board the layouts are very similar obviously missing the extended battery bit oh that's that's no there is one large difference the gen 1 battery has got its own built-in fan for cooling the gen 2 battery does not it has in fact no cooling whatsoever because in the what as we'll see when we put it back together there's only cooling for the actual electronic top section you know the AC side and the charging side whereas the gen 1 has its own built-in battery for cooling the cells so I suppose I should now start to put it back together right I'll reassemble these back in their cases and I'll bring you back once I've got that done I'm going to put the next the top boards back in them right okay that's the batteries inside the main casing and the sides back on as I said Gen 1 has a dedicated battery fan down in there which draws air down through the cells and over the Gen 2 only has cooling fans for up here and there's no corresponding vent down here on either side whereas the Gen 1 has vents on both sides to allow airflow I say Gen 1 has also got the ex battery expanded expander port on that side whereas the Gen 2 has got the 12 volt accessory socket on that side both still have the two posts for connecting to the top board that's your battery positive and negative on those two posts the rest are just screws for securing it down and the front port front panel goes in again it's just slots down both of them a lot more simple construction on the Gen 2 the Gen 2 side panels are just pressed in and then they're held together once the big screw comes up through the bottom and comes out here and squashes them together the Gen 1 is the one that has these uh, plastic stakes there's four of them go around that holds the sides in place and they still have to unclip from there so they go in, secure the panels in to each other and then they get screwed in again 
and the front panel just slots in on that one. Same as the Gen 2, much like that. So we're now kind of ready to slot the top boards in and have another look at them. So this is the Gen 2 board and there's not a huge amount different than the Gen 1. Uh, I, need, I need more space. Generation 1 main board, the one that goes on top and does all the ins and outs. Generation 2 main board. Again, very similar layout. You've got the X, XT plugs there for your solar charging, your 12 volts. We've got the current reset switch there and the IEC connector for mains in. Same place, very similar layout for all of the transformers and voltage correction. Um, apart from that, yeah, it's the same output for 12 volts from the board from there. Same plugs, we've got again the little tiny XT connector for front panel connection for things. Lar large, does it say on them what they are? X6, X, X, D, X. Not my eyes, I can't even see a brand. I need glasses, man, I need glasses. But yeah, that's, that's the is that an AC output to the front. I can't remember, I think that might be the AC output to the front panel, those ones. And they've all got earth points at various points along the board. And then just connection to the BMS from probably from the front panel back onto this. So let's put them in place. Sorry, and these, as I say, they've got the plastic, their EMI shielding plate, plates are still more or less the same. This one does have a, a copper uh, attachment port on there for a bit more EM shielding, that one does not. Oh, and this one uses more of the same screws. So to hold the battery down this one, there's two, uh, six, eight, ten screws of all the same type, and in this one there's uh, four of the same, and then another six of a different kind. So there's a lot more variety in screws holding that together, as I say. Even with the, the stakes, they're another screw size, whereas all that's now got... I mean, there's not that many screws left to go back in. Most of it's holding in this top board. Right, let's put the top boards back in. Let's do the Gen 1 first. Should be able just to slide that in that hole. Assuming that I've got everything back in the right spot. That's sit down there. Yes, right, marvellous. Do the same for you. Slide that. Line up the holes. And I'm lined up. Just about. I'll need to drag over and get a bit closer. Right, so I'll screw all that down and then we'll do the front panels. Okay, that is the Gen 1 and Gen 2 back to having their main boards in. The only bits I've not screwed in yet is the positive and negative screws that join the batteries to the board and there's a earth terminal that goes on the front board as well and the front boards to go back in. Ah, I've still got some screws to do for this. So this has got a 1 in it, so this must be the Gen 1. It's upside down. Goes that way. Gen 1 for you. And the Gen 2 for you. And as before, their layout is very similar. Slight changes, but I can see, but everything's more or less in the same place. And in the other video where I noticed the extra two-pin connector that runs along all four EC sockets, the Gen 1 has it as well. I just hadn't noticed it before. It's also got the same two-pin connection that goes in there. Is it marked on that? AC detect? Ah, it says AC detect, or AC det. Well, that one, does that have a... If it does, it's underneath the goop. So that says AC debt. So maybe there's a switch in there that lets it know something's plugged into the AC, any of the ports. I mean, that'll work, as I say. It does say AC debt. I don't know if you'll actually do that. Where is the zoom on this camera? Uh, there we are. AC debt. I'm assuming debt stands for detection and not detonation. 
So that's the two front panels, and they should just clip back together. Let me just and do this live. Live. It's, it's not really live, is it? Where does that one go? Ah, don't drop them. Pretty sure that one goes in there. Okay, well, they're both back together, and reassembly of the Gen 2, much easier. The front panel just sl slotted in, no problem. The Gen 1 was a little bit of a fight to sort of slot it all in, click the sides in and squash it down. I still put the screws in for the stakes in that one, but that's pretty much all the screws are inside. Do you think they'll turn back on? Well, that one turns on. Oh, this one. And that one turns on. So for display-wise, that's a very simple LCD display. Whereas that one's an actual full-colour, proper, full LCD display, is it? It can change what it actually displays. You can go through the... Obviously there's no input because it's not plugged in charging and there's no output because it's not doing... Battery's 22%, same in this one, just shows you the... There's no... There's display on and off, everything's displayed on the thing when you turn the power on, it lights up the AC bit, same in that one, if you turn on power, it shows your AC's running, that one just turned back off because there's nothing doing, uh, not much else to show for... I think they've got very similar ins and outs, we've got four mains plugs, four mains plugs, two... 140 watt USB C's. We've got one 100 watt and one 30 watt USB C's, and that's a 15 watt USB C and a standard USB. That one, that slot, the normal USB slot. Uh, car socket is on the front of this one. It's on the side of that one. I suppose I should actually put the lids back on and. Show you the size difference, right? So that's Gen, a Gen 1. So just pretend that's actually screwed together. And then the Gen 2 lid. I'm going to have to separate them all by here. Get the handles in. So, apart from the four screws that are not holding them together, they are very similarly sized. The Gen 2 is slightly shorter and perhaps slightly narrower than the Gen 1. Weight wise, right, it's now time to get my bit of paper that actually tells me all the differences between the Gen 1 and the Gen 2. Right, the main differences between the Generation 1 and the Generation 2 are as follows. Battery capacity. I'm reading it off my tablet here. Uh, the Generation 1 has 1056 watt hours. The Generation 2 has 1024 watt hours. So slightly less in the Generation 2. Continuous power output. Uh, Gen 1 can do 1800 watts with a surge of 2400. The Gen 2 can do a continuous 2000 watt output with a 3000 watt surge output. You need to, at uh, one of those things, you have to turn on with the app. I think it might go for that one as well. You need to uh, turn on the, you know, the extra surginess of it. Um, what else have we got? Recharge time. This one will recharge from the uh, something or zero. Well, fully, re fully charged from zero to 100 in 58 minutes. And this will do zero to 100 in 49 minutes. Again, if you turn on the... What do they call that? The ultra fast charging again with the app. Uh, outputs, as I say, they've both got four UK plugs, obviously for our UK model. But the Generation 2 has got more powerful USB C outputs, and one more of them, uh, than the Gen 1, which is the lower powered uh, USB C outputs. And well, it's got one more of the standard. Uh, USB outputs, but we're all, almost everything's USB-C now. I'm, I was reeking about trying to find a USB-C a micro adapter the other day because everything's gone USB-C. Uh, solar input, both can take 600 watts. And here are where we're going for the size and weights now. So, the Gen 1 weighs 
12.9 kilograms and the Gen 2 weighs 11.3. So it's 11% lighter. And dimension wise, no, oh, this is in inches, Jesus. So 14.5 by 8.5 by 10.5. And, and this one's 13.5, no, no, sorry, 13.1 by 8 point by 10.1. So this one is 14% smaller. The Gen 2 is 14% smaller than the Gen 1. Uh, what else is so oh, well? We know that the Gen 1 has the battery expander port because you can add on batteries whereas this has now been removed from the Gen 2 so no uh, expansion um, apart from that we've got some app based things for the Gen 2 and the Gen 1 and the other one is well it's two things I suppose no battery cooling fan in the Gen 2 which is the Gen 1's got and the Gen 1's got a light if you turn it on Gen 1 has the light bar of three intensities. The Gen 2 has no light bar at all. There is no light. I have to say, I could probably count on one hand the number of times I've actually used the light bar. But it is a handy thing to have if you're, you know, desperate for a torch or you're raking about in the dark trying to plug things or unplug things or see where you're here. But then again, a head torch is also a thing. Don't know if that's really a deal breaker is uh, the lack of the light um so slightly less capacity but a kilogram lighter well i say else what, what capacity do we go for was like 1056 versus 1024 so not a lot of reduced capacity i mean like we're neither here nor there but so you've got less capacity but a higher output than the gen one suppose that's kind of makes up for it in, in a good way that way but yeah so that was uh, a comparison between the Anchor Solix Generation 1 and the Generation 2 and we've seen their insides outsides and they're back together and they're still working which is quite impressive if you have any comments questions anything like that please leave them down below I'll try my very best to answer them and as always thanks for watching